Hey everyone, uh, this is another video that I'm actually stepping outside for instead of our usual setting. So welcome back to you subscribers and we're gonna make steak sandwiches on the grill. I've got one yellow onion that's just sliced up uh, and four tablespoons of butter. You're probably thinking that's an awful lot of butter for this little bit of onion. I'm gonna set this on here about midway through my heat. My heat's on this side. Just a quick sprinkle of uh, kosher salt if it's open. Okay, and then a quick sprinkle of ground black pepper. There you go. All we're going to do is we're going to let this saute up and then uh, we'll come back and explain why I put so much butter in this pan. Okay, a couple minutes. Alright, so we've been uh, cooking our onions in our four tablespoons of butter with our pinch of salt and a uh, pinch of pepper. I'm just going to take these out. They're nice and soft. They're still nice and warm. And this will make a nice topping to our steak. Alright, a nice raw steak. I've added the other four tablespoons, which is basically one whole stick of butter, which I'm melting down now. This is what we cooked our onions in earlier. I'm going to hit it again with a little bit of black pepper. I'm also going to hit my steak with a little bit of black pepper. And a little bit of salt to that, and a little bit of salt to that. Don't worry if it gets on heavy, it will come off. Now, into the butter, to the other side. And we're going to do the second side of the steak. Come on. And a little bit of this to the steak. That's it. Straight to our nice high heat side. Hear that baby sizzle. Two minutes, two aside, and then we'll move it over to the uh, no no charcoal side so that we can cook it slow and low for about 10 minutes. You can see, uh, one, some of my family members like there's a little more well done, so I left this one on the high heat for a bit, but I've moved them off, and now I'm just moving them back to make sure that I get a nice set of grill marks crisscrossing on them. Uh, and it looks like we're doing pretty good there. So this one's probably close to done. These got about another minute or two. I've added a stick of butter up here. That's going to be for our hoagie bun. Because remember, we're making a steak sandwich. So I'm going to dip, I'm going to pour some of the butter on there. I'll put those over here and we'll get to that. So let's do that now. These are just store bought hoagie buns. Can open these up. And all we're going to do is come back in here and get some of this great looking butter and just spread it on a little bit. I'll show you what it looks like here. And remember, this is just salt and pepper. You watch me make this butter. It's a clarified butter, if you will. All right. So and all we're trying to do is get a little bit of crisp to our bread so that it doesn't fall apart when we cut up our steak and put it on top of it. Same thing for a couple more and then uh, we should be getting ready to cut this up and put the cheese on and start making our sandwiches. You see that our steaks have some nice color on them now. So I've got another skillet here and I'm just using this to let my meat rest before we actually cut into them. You can also see that I've buttered the buns and put those on. Resting meat. We want to cover it so it keeps from getting cold. And what this is going to let it do is let the inside, let the juices stick in there, but also let it continue to cook for a little bit. So we'll just let that sit. We've taken the bread, we've toasted it up. I've got uh, some Dijon mustard here, but you know, if you like mayonnaise or you want to make your own kind of dressing on there, um, go ahead. I'm just going to use a little bit of Dijon. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and take, this is provolone cheese. Half and half. Okay, we've got a piece of this one of the steaks here. I'm going to cut off some of the fat, and this is the one that was well done. So lay this across like so, so we get a nice. Look at that meat. 
Now that we've got the steak down, I'm going to take some of those caramelized onions that we uh, put on our skillet on the grill. And just spread those on top. I think that's pretty good. One more piece of provolone. No, we're gonna eat inside. This is a little bit of fresh baby arugula. Just slide that on there. And top it. And yeah, you can eat outside. There you go. A steak sandwich. I guarantee that's delicious. Give this one a taste. You know how to do that. Try it out yourself. Otherwise, you know the drill. Subscribe, share, and like. And give me those comments below. And uh, share it to the world. Take care. Peace.